channel. Today's look is this kind of really nice cranberry makeup look. Um, and I'm using the palette, which is being very, very much talked about, and I've seen it posted everywhere, is the Violet Voss Holy Grail um, palette. This is what it looks like. I've done a few swatches on my arm, which I will place here. It's just a, lot, a little video um, of the swatches. I've only done five, um, but I wanted to show you two of the colours I'm using. So I just want to do a really quick... Um, swatch and show you how pigmented they are and they are actually really really nice so yes if you want to see how i did this look and see the swatches of this palette then stay tuned wine and dine which is the burgundy color that i've used um i'll do it here so that is the color wine and dine and dine and cranberry splash and so i'm going to put that next to wine and dine so that's, they're super, super pigmented, really good. Um, and yeah, I've used also um, Teddy Bear. So let me swatch that one. Which is like a really nice sort of warm brown palette. I didn't use it in this one, but this is called Cool Beans. Um, and look at that. So there's just a few of the swatches from this palette. Um, maybe I'll, my last finger. And that is the other shimmery color. So I've just swatched these two, that one and them two. Just to give you a little um, view of what they look like. Um, as you can see. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go in with this color, which is called Thanks A Latte, which is this whitish color, and it's a matte. So I'm gonna take this and go onto my lid. And I've already put highlight on my brow here, so I'm just kind of running it up to there. This shade called Are You Kidding Me? And I'm just gonna put it in the crease and slightly above. I'm just gonna test it on my hand, just see how dark it's best. Okay, it's kind of got like an orangey tinge. And I'm just going to put that in my crease and slightly above. I'm gonna go in with brownie points. I'm gonna go in with a bit of, because this is the color I wanna go for, but, um, so I'm gonna go in with brownie points and that is Teddy Bear, I think. It's backwards on the camera. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in with this one first and then if it starts to get darker, it's because I've added this. So I'm kind of gonna blend them um, together. But obviously I want to go in gently rather than, um, yeah. So this is Brownie Points, which is the nicest brown shade. And yeah, so I'm gonna kind of use this as my next transition shade because I, I want it to go into a darker colour. I'm then going to go in with that colour Teddy Bear, which is kind of a darker brown, but it's almost like got a hint of like a purple in it almost. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but it has got a, like a tint of purple. I think you can kind of see it in the camera. And then I'm just going to I don't want it to come up too far. I want it to just be on the crease, really. And then again, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back in with that brush that I used for the transition color and blend that again first time using this palette by the way and I'm quite liking it to be honest. The colours blend so well together I think that's what I'm liking is that it's quite easy to, to get this blend going. Right so now I've done that I'm going to, I might still, I'm going to go in with these two, well this colour first of all so I'm going in with this colour which is called Wine and Dine which is this really nice matte burgundy colour and then I'm going to go in with Cranberry Splash. So Wine and Dine, I'm going to get a big, 
not a big fluff. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna get a, a normal shape, normal size brush. <gasps> okay. Right, so then I'm gonna take this color and place it here. And I'm gonna leave a little space at the front because I'm gonna add a little bit of something in the corner. I'm then going to take a flat brush, if I can find one. And I'm going to go into this this colour, which is called Cranberry Splash. Oh, how nice is this colour? And then I'm going to go into that teddy bear shade and I'm going to use that too under here and then I'm just gonna wing it out a little bit here so that is the the kind of the look obviously I haven't put any lashes on yet um, but I'm going to go and do the other eye and then I've got a, another first impressions kind of thing. Um, I mean, I'm not going to do like a full look with it, but I'm going to use it for this look. Um, but you'll see it and I'm just going to do the other eye and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've done both eyes and it looks very weird because I've got no lashes on or anything like that. But I really love the colour of it. Um, now, this... I mentioned that um, I was going to use something else and this is what I'm going to use. It's from a girl called Chantel. She's on Twitter and Instagram. I'll link all her stuff. And she hand makes glitter um, eyeshadows. So this is, I don't want them to fall out. I don't know well. So this is the little palette that I got. And look, and look how glittery they are. Um, this one is my favourite and so is this one. And well that one's pretty good too. So I'm going to use this one which is a really, really... Um, it's like a white, um, this, and I'm going to put it in the inner corner. These are from Top Lash. Uh, they're actually really cheap, but I really like how they look because they're all kind of like that crossed over effect. Um... And yes, I just think they're really, really nice. So I'm going to, apparently it's run out. And I'm going to find my glue. Right, I swear to God, every time I come to use it, I lose my nail glue, uh, my eyelash glue. Although I've just found it. But every single time, I can't find it. I've got, ha I bought two um, squeezy tube things of duo eyelash glue. No idea where they've gone. So I'm using this little one. Apply some mascara. Now for the lips, what do we do with the lips? Do we just go neutral or do we go for a colour? I don't really know, do you know? Because I don't really know. I wish I had an accent. Well, I probably do to some of you, but... Do we do that? Do we do that colour? I say we do it. Liquid lipstick. This is from my website. Um, but if you aren't into that kind of thing, you don't want to buy through me, absolutely fine. Um, I'm sure there is a very similar shade somewhere else. Um, but yes, if you like this shade, then you can get it from my website. Um, so yes, so I'm going to apply this. I'm going to zoom in. It's got like a really thin... Hold on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It's got like a really thin tip, as you can see. 
So what I'm doing is getting the product and literally lining my lips with it. Redo um, my highlight slightly because I feel like it's toned down a little bit and no one likes that. That's better. To do this at the start, I'm going to add in some contacts because I wanted green eyes because it's just going to make this colour go bang. So. Oh, forest green. So these are Desi Desio contact lenses. Um, come in a little pot like this. You can see the colour there. Uh, and then I'm just going to apply these, and then I'll show you what they look like, and I'll link all the links and everything below. This isn't this isn't sponsored. By the way, none of this video is sponsored. Um, the only thing that I will get commission on is if you buy this lip colour book is from my website. But I've already said that if you don't want to support that, that's absolutely fine. But the rest of it um, is not anything sponsored. I bought the palette because I thought everyone keeps going on about it, and I thought I've got to try it. So I've tried it, and uh, I like it. And these are the contact colours, which uh, this is the contact colour, which is like a, it's called forest green, and it's a really really nice colour. And I just wanted to add that because I think it looks green eyes look so nice with a red or like this cranberry kind of colour. So yes, this is the finished look. Next look I do use in this palette, I will just swatch them on my arm as well and show you what they look like. But yes, this palette. Um, has kind of lived up to expectation I guess um, I heard a lot of amazing things about it so I thought I would buy it so if you like this look give me a thumbs up a comment below don't forget to subscribe if you're new and you've got if you've got any suggestions of colours you want me to do if it's in this palette as well um, I really want to do other looks using this because I really loved using it and yes I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you're new